Hi, I'm Andrew from Descript. The first time you heard of Descript, it might have been as a podcasting tool. By making it possible to edit audio like a doc, Descript changed what's possible for podcasters. Our customers call it things like impossibly futuristic or the most earth-shatteringly spectacular piece of software in years. They've said that they couldn't imagine editing any other way. And our favorite is that Descript is a tool that actually makes people want to edit. Tons of podcasts are now using Descript, including nine out of 10 of the top production studios. That's all great, but we're not stopping with podcasts. In fact, today we're here to talk to you about video. We actually see podcasts and video as two sides of the same coin. It's an interesting time for video. You might've heard that people love to consume video. If current trends continue, the average person will be consuming about 28 hours of video per day by the end of the decade. And video isn't just for entertainment anymore. We're using it to collaborate at work where it's replacing training seminars, presentations, emails, on and on. But making good video is as much of a grind as it's ever been. And this is why these timeline editors are a total drag. With enough time and patience, you can probably learn to use one, but they never stop being a tedious technical hurdle to channeling your creativity. So it feels like the stage is set for video to take its place alongside text as something that everyone is using to communicate, but the tools are holding it back. Video needs a tool that's as simple, powerful, and versatile as the word processor is for text. Well, we think we've built it. And today we're gonna to show you a new version of Descript that we think represents the future of video editing. At the center of this release is a complete redesign around a new approach to organizing visuals that we're calling scenes. Let me start by just telling you how scenes work. You start out with your recording, which is represented by words instead of clips on a timeline. Then you divide it up into scenes using the slash key. You just add a slash anywhere you want the visuals to change somehow, and you'll see the scenes popping up in the margin of the script. This gives us something that's kind of like a mix between a slide deck and a dock. Now, if I want to overlay an image, that's a scene, so I just drag it on that section of the script. If I want to add a video, it's the same thing. And the video is trimmed so that it's contained within the scene. I can then tune the positioning of the video within the scene. Same thing if I want to add a lower thirds title. I just add a rectangle and a text clip to this scene. That's it. You get the power that you've come to expect from the best timeline-based editors, but the familiar experience of using docs or PowerPoint slides. In a minute, we'll go through a few demos that show off just how simple and powerful scenes are. But first, let's take a tour of the all-new Descript. We're calling this release Descript Storyboard. Here it is, and yes, we've added dark mode. The editor is now divided into five panels, the script, the timeline, the canvas, the insert toolbar, and the sidebar. Let's go through them one by one, and as we go, I'll point out some of our new features. Starting with the script, you can see that it's been redesigned around scenes. Whenever you type a slash to add a new scene, it appears over here in the margin. Now, when you add other visual clips, you'll see that they snap to scenes. Audio clips work like before, they're just pinned to your script and aren't contained by scenes. We've made several other improvements to the script, like new modes for transcript correction and writing text to speech, an improved toolbar that shows up when you make a selection, and my favorite, a gap toolbar, where you can easily adjust the space between words or even adjust video offset to create J and L cuts. Over here in the canvas, basically what we've done is add a bunch of creature comfort so it feels more like your favorite slide app. You can work with objects even if they're outside of the frame. You can use the keyboard to cut, copy, paste, and delete and nudge clips with the arrow keys. You can select multiple clips at the same time, and last but not least, you can crop and rotate objects. Next, we've consolidated Descript's two sidebars into a single side panel over here on the right with tabs for properties, compositions, search, and comments. This properties panel is where a bunch of Descript's new features show up. First, there are just a lot more properties available. I already mentioned crop and rotate. We've also added the ability to loop, reverse, and bounce clips. We've added rounded corners to all clip types. You can create gradient fills. You can use bullets and text clips and more. We have a new section here for visual effects where you can adjust color, add filters, or apply effects like blur and pixelate. We've also built our own AI green screen effect that does an amazing job at removing background from video. Here we have a full library of transitions that you can apply between clips or scenes, including character or word level transitions for text. Speaking of animation, we've improved those features with more properties that can be animated and an improved UI for adding and adjusting your animations. On to the timeline. In Storyboard, a lot of the editing you might have previously done in the timeline, you can now do directly from the script and the sidebar. So the timeline has been streamlined to focus on the thing that a timeline is uniquely good at, precision editing. Whenever you select something in the canvas, its track will show up in the timeline. 
And from here, you can do things like trim, make internal edits, slip the position of the file inside a clip, or extend a track to play across multiple scenes. And from the word bar, you can easily adjust the space between words. You can also expand the timeline to see all your tracks at once. Last but not least, the new Insert Toolbar. It's one place for everything you'll add to compositions. And it's also where we stuffed a lot of our coolest new features. First, we have templates. Use the templates drawer to browse different templates and quickly add saved scenes to your composition. We've got collections of full scene layouts that you can use to get a great look straight out of the box for your video. We've also got things like title arrangements and social elements that you can drop on existing scenes. And of course, you can make your own templates and share them with your team. Next is the new media library drawer. This includes any files that you've added to your project, but we've also built in free access to premium stock media libraries with a searchable collection of millions of videos, images, sound effects, and music. We've also integrated Jiffy and Unsplash directly into the app with more libraries like that to come. Finally, Descript now has an integrated multi-track camera and screen recorder. So you can record video directly into your composition and the screen and camera will be on different tracks. And you can use this with scenes to easily switch between different layouts. All right, that's an overview of the new Descript. Now I'm gonna welcome a few of my teammates to show it in action, starting with Lara. Hi, I'm Lara, a video producer here at Descript. Since I was a child, I've been making videos on powerful but ungainly timeline editors. Now, Descript's new concept of scenes is changing the way that I make video. I'm actually working on something for my YouTube channel right now where I explain how to pack a bug out bag. I've got a rough script and I even recorded some B-roll of my gear and packing. Now I'll show you how easy Descript Storyboard makes it to pull this video together. Here's my project. I already recorded my script using the new built-in recorder. I had a few bad takes, but that's no problem. I can just edit those out here in the transcript. Okay, cool. Now I'm ready to start breaking this whole thing down into scenes. Over this part of the script, for example, I know I want to include some shots of me using my WorkPro 14-inch steel blade bolt cutters, so I just add slashes. And you can see the scenes have appeared here. Now, I just drop in the file. Context. I'll go over the features and how well they stand up to being packed to the gills with a bunch of stuff you might over here, I want to cover up some awkward footage of myself, so I'm just going to add another scene and add some video of, um, I don't know, someone running through the forest. Luckily, Storyboard has a massive library of premium stock footage built right in, so I just search. And sure enough, I can add it. Now I just add a few more scenes to add some more B-roll. There are two main interior pockets, which you can zip all the way down for easy... And maybe some titles. ...figure out what the heck is going on. Now here's what it would have been like to do that in a conventional timeline editor. Hey everyone, my name is Tiff. I'm a video producer here at Descript, and here's how I'd make that video in my editor. First, I'm going to import the footage. And after this step, make sure you definitely do not move your files because you will break your project. Now it's time to pull a roll selects. Start by creating a sequence. Make sure your sequence settings match your source footage though, otherwise you'll have all sorts of funky stuff going on. Then I just use my J, K, and L keys to scrub through the footage and use the command K and M hotkeys to make cuts and add markers for my dialogue cues. After that, we move on to B-roll selects, which are a little easier since there's no dialogue. I do still add markers so I can keep track of my selects though, because the timeline view doesn't have any thumbnails. Now I can actually get to editing. Let's make a new sequence, otherwise you'll get completely unorganized. Here I am trimming the A-roll to only the best takes. You just kind of start to remember where you are in the timeline as you go. To add B-roll, I just stack my sequences, drag from one sequence to the other, and then adjust the heads and tails. Then I can use the Y hotkey to do some slip edits and use just the best part of the shot. Now for the finishing touches. All I have to do is find music and B-roll online with another paid subscription service and then import them. And then if you need to make any further edits to your A-roll, just know that it might break your timeline a little. But don't worry, just press the A key and drag everything on the timeline back to that edit point and then fine tune all those cuts and you should be able to fix it. 
It's pretty easy once you've done it for a couple of years. And that's it. Seriously, don't move your files. Cool. Thanks, Tiff. Up next, we have some greatly improved features for video podcasting, so I'll hand it over to my colleague, Andrew L., to discuss. Hi, I'm Andrew Lazowski, a senior engineer here at Descript. I'm also a podcaster in my spare time. I make a podcast called DevTools FM. For better or worse, the podcast landscape is changing. The big audiences are moving to video-first platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Video pods can intimidate even the most experienced podcasters because it's more work and a workflow many aren't prepared for. Now I have to look good on camera? What about jump cuts from editing out lines? How do I do multicam? This is going to require me to become an advanced user in the most powerful class of video editors. And I'm tired. Luckily, with Descript Storyboard, it's easy. Okay, here I have my video podcast in Descript. Each camera is recorded as a separate file, so I can easily set up different shots. First, I'm going to go through and add scene breaks everywhere I want my shot to change, which is usually going to be when the speaker changes. Now I can arrange my shots the way I would arrange visuals on a slide. So for this one, I just want a close-up of my guest. And on this one, a close-up of me. And for when I want to show both of us at the same time, it would be nice to have some branding in here. Descript's new template feature is perfect for that. I just click here to open a custom template I created, and I just click here to apply it to the scene. Not only does it add all of the branding elements, it relays out my cameras. So now I've got three main scenes set up that I want to use. I can just copy and paste layouts to the other scenes. It's that easy, just like using layouts and slides. Finally, I have a few more scenes in my template I want to add, a saved intro and a saved outro, and that's it. Now I'm going to hand it over to my good friend, Christiana, Descript's community manager, who's going to show you how you can use Storyboard to create shareable clips. Hi everyone, I'm Christiana from Descript's community team. I'm also a member of Generation Z, which means I love social media and I know all of the latest versions of it. Descript Storyboard is more than just an editor. We've built it to cover your full workflow. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to repurpose my good friend Andrew's podcast into short clips for social. Here's a part where my friend Andrew makes a powerful point about the overemphasis on linting your PRs. So I just select the text and hit duplicate. Now I've got it in its own composition. From here, I can use Descript's included templates to quickly get it ready for social media. Here's one that adds dynamic text and a waveform. This is great for horizontal, but I also want a clip that'll be great for TikTok. So let's set it to portrait layout and voila. All right, off to TikTok. Recently, I used AST Explorer to look at the AST for my React code. Actually, I'm just remembering, Andrew has his own branded templates for the different social media platforms. So I'll just choose one of those. Code, and then use it to be able to know there was a relationship between two components. Now I just click publish, and in seconds, I have a video that's ready to share or embed. Hashtag embed. For our listeners who might hear AST and seem scared. With Descript Storyboard, it's faster than ever to make great looking clips for social, so I can focus on building deep connections with our community members. Thank you for that feedback. I'll definitely pass it along to the team. They're really going to love that. Anyways, now to my big brother Jay from our sales team. He's going to show you how we're using Descript Storyboard to improve internal collaboration here at Descript. The world is changing, and video is no longer the sole dominion of content creators. It's becoming an essential part to how all of us communicate and collaborate. And with Descript Storyboard, my team is able to use video to take what we're learning on the front lines in our conversations with customers and share it with the rest of the company more effectively than ever. Here's a project for a video I'm making called Voice of the Customer. Our team makes one of these every month. For starters, I'm going to use scenes to basically create a few slides with information that I want to share on what happened this month. I can use templates to pull in a few of these slide layouts, and then I can customize them on the canvas. And now, I'll actually just write the voiceover, and Descript automatically generates audio as I type my overdub voice. Welcome to the July Voice of the Customer update. We had a steady upward trajectory this month. We're on track to hit our OKRs. Descript supports live, multi-user collaboration, so my teammates can be adding in their own videos while I work on mine. So now, everyone in the company can see and hear directly from our customers. Pulling it together is as fast and easy as making a slide deck. That's it for our business presentations. Now, back to my good friend, Andrew. 
Hi, I'm Andrew from Before, back to wrap things up. Hopefully the biggest question that you still have on your mind is, when can I try this? Well, I'm pleased to share that we're starting to roll out a preview release today. Hurry on over to descript.com slash storyboard to put your name on the list and we'll be rolling out access in the weeks to come. Before I go, I want to express my gratitude to the incredible team here that invented all this stuff. We've been working on it for like nine months and getting it done has been a full court press by really everyone at this company. There's about 90 of us. When we started working on Descript many years ago, we had just this vague notion that you could use AI and stuff to transform the way that people are creating media. But we knew that the devil would be in the details and we've been so fortunate to pull together the most wonderful and talented group of people that I've ever worked with who could pull it off. And I'm so proud to be able to introduce you to what they've built. Finally, if you wanna chat about what you've seen here, then just stop by our Discord channel. I'll be there, the rest of the team will be there, and we'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you like this.